Guys, evidently 80% of people do not know how to play an instrument, including myself. My name is Joshua Lefemi and I'm a video editor that knows next to nothing about music production. If you're in the same boat, then you gotta watch this video. Welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Not being able to make music ourselves as video editors can really suck a lot of the time because as we know, a great music bed is fundamental into making our project what it is. So what are your options? Well, you have three legal ones. You could either just figure out how to make music yourself and learn an instrument. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right? You could hire someone to score the track for you. Or thirdly, you could actually buy a music track off of, say, a royalty-free music site. So here's the thing, though. An average song length is is like what three minutes but what if the edit that you're trying to cut your song to is 30 seconds well you'd cut the song up of course you'd probably first try to just chop the song right when the video ends knowing it's probably gonna sound weird and abrupt or you could maybe try to tap into the inner non-existent music producer that you are and attempt to internally edit the track yourself chopping and moving segments around so it ends exactly when your video edit ends it's not gonna work I know you've tried it it's gonna end up sounding like crap. Guess what? Premiere Pro has finally given us a solution called Remix. This is a feature that's actually been hiding in Adobe Edition for quite a while, and they have finally migrated it over to Premiere Pro Beta. Soon to hopefully be in the main Premiere Pro in not too long. Remix takes your song and uses AI to remix it to any length of your choosing. It's pretty crazy. And downloading Premiere Pro Beta is very easy. All you gotta do is click on your Creative Cloud app and then click on the beta apps on the side and then click on Premiere Pro Beta. I already have it installed, so where this button says open is where for you it's gonna say install. So I think we should test this feature out using three very different music tracks. Premiere Pro claims that it's gonna give you a seamless edit out of every one of these tracks at whatever length that we choose. I'm assuming this means you will not be able to hear any of the cuts when they're being made. Let's jump in. I'm assuming at this point you have Premiere Pro Beta downloaded. All right, guys, check out this new home screen that Premiere Pro Beta has. We're gonna go to new project and then we're gonna name the project. We're gonna save it on our desktop. We can just leave our sequence name to be sequence one and we're gonna do create. All right, right click and I'm going to import a bunch of music tracks and some footage for us to use. I'm then gonna create a sequence, make the sequence 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna have a square pixels aspect ratio. I want it to be a progressive scan as far as the fields go. Everything else is fine, just click okay. I'm now gonna place the three tracks that we're gonna remix in the timeline. A rap track. That's what happens when you guess a B grade man. To I have a American pop track. Control, and I have a Hindi track. And here is the footage that I want to remix these tracks to. As you can see, this footage, which is a really cool video I shot in New Zealand a few years ago, is really, really short. It's probably less than a minute long. Go to Window, then go to Essential Sound. Make sure that you have the track clicked on, and then in the Essential Sound window, click on Music. Now click on Duration. Make sure the remix bubble is filled in, and then you can then pick the target duration that you want. I'm gonna bring this down from three minutes, 22 seconds, all the way down to 34 seconds. You can see that the actual remix duration here is 34.2 seconds, but let's drag it underneath and see how this sounds. Specifically taking a look at these little Vs here. These Vs are actually the edit points that Premiere is using to cut this track up. So we're gonna see if we can see where the edit points is that Premiere used to cut this track down from three minutes, 22 seconds, down to 34 seconds. Monumental, Ooh. monumental, Ooh. everything is Ooh. monumental, uh. monumental, Ooh. monumental, Ooh. everything is Ooh. monumental. Wow, that was pretty good. That was pretty amazing. That entire song was cut down to 34 seconds almost instantly. How about we now try the pop song? And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna click on the pop song. We're gonna go to music. And then we're gonna click on duration, make sure remix is checked. We can see that the actual duration is three minutes, 55 seconds. We're gonna then bring this down to, again, 34-ish seconds. All right, let's play through this. Like a light
Beautiful. Let's go to the last song, our Hindi track. Let's listen to it real quick. Again, click on it, go to music, click on duration, make sure remix is checked. We see the target duration is two minutes. Let's bring it down to 34 seconds. Here we go, we're gonna take a look. Guys, most of the time, Remix just kills it on the first try, but if you want to actually go and edit some of the parameters, you can. You can edit the edit length as well as the features. If you drag the edit point to a higher number, it just means you're going to decrease the number of edit points. If you drag the edit length to a lower number, you're going to actually increase the number of edit points, so you have a little bit more in here. As far as features, you're going to want to drag it down to timber if you have fewer instruments, and then you're going to want to drag it up to harmonics the more instruments that you have in any piece. Guys, I've told you a little bit about Premiere Pro Remix, and I now wanna tell you a little bit about Envato Elements, our channel sponsor. Elements is a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads to a library of over a million of the best digital assets. It's basically a video editor's dream. And guys, you gotta trust me, like I always say, it's always cheaper buying a subscription to Elements than buying all of these products individually. So click on the link below and pay for the annual subscription. This will unlock a massive 50% discount, aka you'll end up paying the equivalent of about $16.50 every month. After you've signed up for Elements and you've played around with it a little bit, leave me a DM on my Instagram at made by Olufemi and tell me what you think. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And as always, remember to keep it chill.